After cutting the stalk of the mushroom, place the cap on the black paper. And the next day, when you lift the mushroom, strange patterns remain on the paper. What is this? Today, let's dissect the mushroom. Mushrooms are a very easily visible ingredient. Mushrooms are often mistaken for plants, but in fact, they are organisms belonging to the fungus kingdom similar to mold. Mushrooms have similarities in lifestyle to plants, which led to their previous classification as a type of plant. However, differences in cell structure, DNA, and other factors have revealed that mushrooms are completely distinct from plants. One of the most significant differences between plants and fungi is that mushrooms do not perform photosynthesis. While plants produce their own nutrients through photosynthesis, mushrooms obtain nutrients by consuming other organisms similar to animals. Since mushrooms lack a digestive system, they secrete digestive enzymes outside their bodies and absorb the digested nutrients. Indeed, the growth of mushrooms on trees occurs because they feed on the tree bark. However, surprising fact is that mushrooms are not the main body of this organism. They are reproductive structures developed for reproduction. The main body of a mushroom is the mycelium, which spreads like roots beneath the surface. The mycelium absorbs nutrients and grows, eventually developing reproductive structures called fruit bodies. The large fruit bodies produced by some fungi are what we refer to as mushrooms. Now, let's grow mushrooms to observe the growth process of mushrooms. This is the medium that can be used to grow mushrooms. It contains nutrients for the fungus to consume and mycelium to thrive. By watering the medium five times a day and creating a humid environment, you can observe the rapid growth of mushrooms. After one day, you can see the mushrooms starting to emerge gradually. After two days, around three days later, the mushrooms will have grown significantly. At this time, by removing some of the smaller mushrooms, you can get the larger mushrooms to grow further. From the fourth day, the mushrooms will grow even faster. And after a week, they will have developed into mature mushrooms. When you harvest the mushrooms, these are shiitake mushrooms. They grow quite rapidly, don't they? Now let's closely observe the structure of mushrooms. Mushrooms are composed of a stalk and a cap. While this mushroom has a slightly shorter stalk, other species often have longer stalks. The reason is that mushrooms release spores for reproduction, and by dispersing them from a higher position, they can spread further. Beneath the cap, you will find gills where the spores are produced and released. Let's take a closer look at magnification. Spores are being produced and released here. Spores produced by mushrooms can be easily observed. After removing the stalk, place the mushroom cap on black paper. The next day, when you lift the mushroom, you will see the pattern of the gills imprinted on the paper. This is the result of numerous spores released by the mushroom that have settled on the paper. Since the timing of spore release varies among different mushrooms, it is recommended to place multiple mushrooms on the paper for experiments. If you collect spores and magnify them under a microscope, you will see a structure like this. After these tiny spores are carried by the wind and dispersed, they can germinate into hypha when they encounter a suitable environment. They then develop into fruit bodies and go through the process of reproduction. And although it's not visible in this mushroom, there are many mushrooms that have a ring in the middle of the stalk. This structure is formed when the membrane surrounding the gills falls off in the process of mushroom growth. Lastly, when you cut the mushroom and look at the cut section, you can see that the mushroom doesn't have any special internal organs. But you can see that only the gills section has a different texture. This is the end of mushroom anatomy. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe.